Hi guys. I have to admit I did this one off camera. But I wanted to do a test just to see how it would work. And decide whether my method worked or if I should uh, try it another way. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the investigation of my first attempt. And then we will recreate. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. I, I had tried to make lines. Um, can't even see from this side either. You know, I do like this. But it is... But it's nothing like I had intended. Okay, I'm all ready here. I'll, I'm using a two-hour epoxy from Stone Coat just because I have it and I want to get this done quicker. Anyways, I've got to work quick here and I do have to pop bubbles. If I have bubbles anywhere, I, I would rather have them in here as opposed to around the edge. It can all be fixed, but I prefer not to have to try to fix the bubbles that are in the corner. So anytime I can prevent that, I'm going to do it. I still see bubbles in there, but not much I can do about it. I got to work fast, and I'll show you what I used after I get this all put together. Put about a tablespoon of my gold rocks in just about maybe a, a half a teaspoon of resin. You know, the only problem is, I think the viscosity is too, too low here. I've got about maybe an ounce and a half or two ounces of white resin here so I'm gonna try to get as much of it down into the bag part as possible and now we're just gonna cut off just a tiny just a tiny little snip and now I'm gonna try to do the same thing I did only I'm not gonna use a point <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing I'm trying to make some small daisy leaves, and this is difficult to do in this plastic bag. My goodness, I think I prefer the parchment paper. And my resin, though, my white resin's almost gone. This doesn't look like a daisy, it looks more like a white chrysanthemum. I know there are bubbles in there, but I'm just going to uh, leave it alone. And I'm going to grab another mold. Got a star trooper. I'm going to... I'm going to fill up one of these if I can. We didn't get it quite full, but that's all right. Let's see, can I still pour this? I can. We're just going to pour it in a, the matching mold for this. And I don't care how this one looks. I really don't. I mean, it would be nice if I could make something pretty. <laughs> I'll put that there. Great. I had to get a new. I had to get a new set of these. I had used my other one so many times that the tips, um, the little tip right here, broke off. So I guess they aren't meant to last forever. Try to cover up that. Just 
Can you see what I'm doing? No, not quite, can you? There was a big gaping hole, so I'm just taking my tip. I wonder if alcohol, if I'm spraying, because I'm spraying alcohol on it, I wonder if that's doing something to the way the resin is spreading. Maybe I shouldn't do that. It's all a learning lesson, right? Mm -hmm. you, but you guys get to learn from my mistakes. I did that pretty cool. Okay, I promised you I'd show you what I used. I used a Lumilite white opaque dye for the petals. And uh, let's see here. Let me show you. I just put a little tiny scoop out like that of this in there with it so that it would just give it a little shimmer. And then for the center, I used these. This is just... a chip mirror and I spray painted it gold on a paper plate and I let it dry and then I just scraped it off the paper plate and I keep it in my containers like this. I, these, I get these at Dollar Tree. And so coat. Quick coat. It's a two hour epoxy. So you only have 15 minutes of working time but you also get to see a result in two hours. So I kind of like that when it's when it comes to making these videos because I can get more done. Do you know how long it takes? <laughs> of course you do. You do if you do resin, you know, 24 hours is a long time. Uh, there is that little windows resin. I love that stuff. That that is uh, pretty cured in 12 hours to the point where you can take it out of the mold and use the mold to do it another one. Uh, this looks like it's going to be the same as it was in the other one. The other one was the 24-hour one. Oh, see see how that's shifting? It's already starting to set up, so I can't play with it anymore. I have to let it leave it alone. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm ready to pour that little last bit on top here. I inspected it and I could see there's lots of bubbles all the way around the edges. I don't like that. Do you guys like that? Do you mind that? I, that really bugs me. And I also want to show you too that uh, there's a, of course I can't show you, well I can. See how white that is? See how yellowish that has turned? That's stone coat. When you work with white, stone coat turns yellow. Hasn't even been a day. Good thing I didn't make this to sell. Stone Coat is good. It stinks, but it's a good product if you're not using white or light colors. It's also FDA compliant, so that's a good thing. It's one of, this is one of the major reasons why I moved away from Stone Coat, because it just doesn't, doesn't do what I want it to do with white colors. And the Epoxy Resin Store does. Epoxy Resin Store is awesome. You guys want to see? <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is so adorable. He's got a little air bowl on his nose. All right, we'll see you in a couple hours. All right, it's time for the big reveal with all my air bubbles. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Totally different. This one was with a 24 hour resin and this one was with a two hour resin. It's pretty, but not what I was going for. I also see, I'm not quite sure if you can see it. Let me see. There's a slight, no, you can't, I can't catch it in the camera. It's warped. There's a, a slight dome 
on the top. But anyway, there it is. <laughs> Good or bad, I did it. I'll have to practice and do some more. Um, yeah, I'll do another one with a twelve, a twenty-four hour. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, heat it up to to remove all the bubbles, let it cool, and then I'll do the ribbons of white. I want a daisy. In honor of my mother. So, which one do you like best? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. And uh, you know what? I got to post the failures along with the successes so you know that I'm not perfect. No, nope. far from it. Like and subscribe if you want to be entertained. <laughs> and thank you to all my subscribers and my commenters. I really appreciate every one of you. You really help my channel. And uh, you make my day. So we will see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.